Computational social science is about embracing the effects digitalization has on both fundamental legs of the scientific method. On the empirical work, especially through big data, through the digital footprint society leaves behind, and on theoretical work through using computer simulations to model future scenarios that, does not that do not necessarily exist in empirical data, but in theory. For example, here what you're seeing is a real world simulation from the United States military where empirical data was used about the movement of, of people, of citizens in this foreign country, about the placement of soldiers, about their shifts, about how they move and how people move. And this is then combined with theoretical models, what might happen in theory if there is an uprising here, if there's an accident there, if we would place some soldiers here. And then we explore both of this. We mix empirical evidence with theoretical modeling and we create this digital exploration of reality. Now this approach is not unique to the social sciences. Many different scientific disciplines are extremely excited about the possibilities digitalization brings on the table. For example, here in a very recent project, uh, several ecologists and biologists got together with computer scientists from Microsoft Research and they said, well, guys, it's time to model all life on Earth. So if you're an ecologist, it's extremely interesting to know what happens with all the different species, the birds in the sky and the fish in the ocean and all the mammals and how they move and to model it all together to get a complete picture of the ecologic system, ecosystem or life on Earth. Now, as they showed in this study here, they said the biggest stumbling block is obtaining the data to parameterize and validate uh, the model. And they used sophisticated methods. They used automated cameras and image recognition technologies. They used motion activated cameras in the jungle to, to see when the mammals come out. They, they, they applied continuous plankton recorders. They towed them underneath ships in order to see where the fish are in the ocean in order just to get some data in order to be able to parameterize and validate their model in order to fine tune their assumptions about how all life on earth actually works and that's the biggest problem uh, obtaining the data now in the social sciences we deal with a species that is so evolved that at every moment they tell us exactly where they are because they have a location device recording with them and they tell us also how they feed themselves how they nurture themselves what they eat because most of their expenditures are recorded through plastic money so we know what they what they consume and also we know who their friends are because they maintain extensive digital social networks we know all of their communication we know how they inform themselves so basically the social sciences underwent a profound transformation from traditionally being a data poor science and convert itself into what might be the most data complete science around today. So traditionally in the social sciences, we never had a lot of data. We were struggling to obtaining data. We forced our undergraduate students to go into our labs for extra credit in order to do some experiments. And then we said, well, that's how society works, exactly how these 20 undergraduates who are desperate to get extra credit answered my questionnaire because we didn't have much more data and there's not a lot we could do and now suddenly we can observe reality in real time we can observe social interactions in real time as they happen and nobody wants to do it for extra credit they just give it away for free and these are huge opportunities so nowadays we are probably we certainly have much more data than we can possibly analyze in the social sciences and it might be the most data complete science that we have biologists don't know where every animal is on planet earth physicists don't know they don't even know about all the stars in the galaxy but everyone on planet earth has a mobile phone and we know basically where they are and where they move so we have a complete sample that's also one of the reasons why many other scientists nowadays are drawn into the social sciences. Physicists, biologists, ecologists, they all are drawn to the social sciences uh, and starting to exploit this digital footprint. And it's a big opportunity uh, for social sciences for the next decades to come.